So we'll start here. All right. Today is a beautiful day for science. Currently, we're looking at an X 1.11 solar flare from region 3341. It occurred at 1709 on 20 June of 2023. This region had an M class uh, a couple days ago while it was still slightly occulted, so it only registered at an M 1.0, though it was quite possibly more significant. We just couldn't see the uh, surface point of that flare. However, Looking at this event, we can see that uh, this region still has more to play out as well. One of the things I've noticed is, the uh, aside from the very large leading umbra to this, it still has a complicated uh, downturn towards this uh, activity. So, uh, not downturn, but the, the region itself, the layout of the region. Let me use my little pointer guy. <laughs> uh, if I could find him. I've lost my Kabolian. There he is. All right. All right, here we are. So it's, it's the region begins very strong with its powerful leading umbra on the northern portion of the region 3341. And it trends southward, further away from the equator, as it tails off. And I think that's going to play a lot into the activity that we see as this region comes across. Uh, the sun. So we're going to see that this elongation and stretch of the region is going to be causing some complications to its layout and polarity. <clears throat> However, so that's that's what happened today and we do have a very fast moving chronomass ejection, uh, interplanetary chronomass ejection, ICME, uh, due to this event. And we have right here Thanks to Soho having a very quick, uh, rapid onset of their data, we can see that occurring right there. Now this event is very likely to not be uh, too impacting for Earth, but it does look like there's going to be a glancing impact chance to it. It's, it's not going to be anything significant. Uh, we're looking at probably a uh, minimal impact, probably maybe even a possible G1 storm from this to at most case I would say a G2 depending on polarity of when the uh, the solar storm hits us. But there's still even a chance that this might miss us at this point. However, if it does, the current time span, estimated time of arrival is about 40 hours. So plus or minus 6 hours from time of eruption. So that's something to keep track of. And uh, that's about it. So cheers and science on.